Hey y'all, good morning. It's Michelle Hill with Southern Inspirations broadcasting live from my screening porch. I'm going to move over just a little bit. <laughs> my logo was covered up my head. Hey y'all, I am so excited this morning to be here and to welcome you to Home Base by Southern Inspirations. I, I cannot tell you um, just how much fun it is just seeing this come to life. And as Southern Inspirations continues to evolve and grow and just flourish into um, the vision that God gave me quite some time ago, I want to continue to um, keep you updated on what we're doing and what the purpose is. And so I'm going to just share my heart and passion with you this morning about that and tell you what you can expect in this group and tell you, let you, I want, I want to show you around, I want to show you around the screened in porch and um, my, probably my favorite, it's at least in my top two favorite spots of my home because if you follow me at all on Good Eating, you know that I love to cook and so one of my favorite spots is definitely the kitchen and my nice, new, wonderful stove. But um, this is a, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say which is first and which place, takes second place. But this is definitely one of my favorite spots. So I'm currently sitting um, on our swinging bed. It um, holds a twin size mattress and we love it. We, we compete for it. My family does. And if you're interested in knowing more about um, this bed or where I got it or how you can um, have one built, um, um, I'll share that and we'll share more with you over the coming um, days and weeks. But before I kind of um, show you around um, the other things I've, I've got up here in this screening porch, I wanted to share really the reason um, for home base and kind of, again, my heart and passion behind it. Y'all, when God gave me the vision for Southern Inspirations, it's, it was actually a while ago, um, probably a couple of years ago. I didn't really know that the name was going to be Southern Inspirations, but I knew that I had a stirring in my heart um, to tell stories and to share stories in some main areas. And I knew that those areas would be uh, nonprofits. And, and that's where my, my little thing that I say all the time about sharing good stories about good people doing good things. That's really where it um, first came to life was in the with the nonprofits. And that's where I started sharing stories with non about nonprofits as well as small businesses. And as you know, I am continuing to do that. And so I knew that that would be a big part of the storytelling. But I also knew um, that just everything about the home, home decor, home design, um, home remodeling, you know, different ideas that go into the home and to the kitchen and the good eating. I knew that a big, big part of it would be my love for cooking. And y'all, I knew all that because when I'm on here and I tell you um, that inspiration is where purpose and passion collide, that's very personal to me. And I believe that. And that's why I share it. And as I've gone through this time over the course of the last couple of years since my major uh, shift in career and, and just life in general, and I've taken some time to examine what are my skills and talents and abilities that God gave me, but more importantly, how does he want me to use those things? What does this look like? And so I had all, you know how you just have those things sometimes just stirring around in your brain. And I'm going to say who commented because I want to thank you so much. Um, Facebook user has said good morning, but I don't know who you are. Um, tell me who you are, because I think that's part of um, the whole stream yard thing. I love stream yard as um, the vehicle to kind of stream to to Facebook, but it has its funny little glitches when it comes to groups. So whoever you are, good morning, but you're going to have to tell me who you are. 
Um, so anyway, I knew that Southern Inspirations would include the nonprofit small businesses, something to do with cooking, eating, and my, my love for writing, some, some blogging, and then the home. But y'all, so it has become so much more than that. And in my um, devotion early this morning, I was reading uh, one on waiting and specifically waiting for our dreams to be manifested, for our dreams to come to reality and for God to show us those next steps. And I hope I can get through this without crying because um, it made so much sense to me. Hey, Karen, <laughs> thank you so much for joining. You've been such a sweet supporter of all that I'm doing here. Um, it made so much sense to me because God truly did give me um, this dream and this vision a while back. And as a doer, anytime I really do feel like I am led to do something or I have this dream or just something I want to, I want to do it like right then. Raise your hand if you're like that. Like, I'm like okay, God, this is what you said I'm going to do. So I'm getting up and I'm going to do it. That's my personality. Um, but I've learned and I'm continuing to learn that I have to wait on his timing and the right steps and the way that he wants me to go about it. And so home base is part of that. Um, as I mentioned, I started Southern Inspirations with sharing the stories about the nonprofits. I added um, the good eating part and you've seen me in that group in the kitchen a whole lot. And, now it's time. Now it's time to add the home base part. And even though I'm not an interior designer, I've, I've not been to school for that, don't have a degree in that. Um, it seems to be one of my gifts and one of the ones that I absolutely love. Um, and y'all, we built our dream home, Brad and I did together. And I designed, I say I, I don't, I'm not trying to bring glory to myself or take all the credit. Clearly I had a whole lot of help because I'm not an architect or builder or general contractor or any of that, but I had the vision in my head. Okay. And I drew it on a piece of paper, um, exactly what I wanted out, scratched it um, on a piece of notebook paper with a pencil. And then we worked with the architect um, to for about two or three months to tweak it and to get it like we wanted. And I had, I had been keeping up for months um, with my list of things I wanted in my house. And of course um, my Pinterest watching Pinterest and, and getting other ideas. And I had to give up a few things just because from an architectural or engineering or much more technical perspective than my, oh, I want this. There were some things that just could not work from those perspectives. Um, for instance, as an example, I wanted in my kitchen, I knew that I wanted cabinets to go all the way to the ceiling instead of, you know, dropping down. Um, and I also wanted some cedar beams um, to run from the hearth all the way to the kitchen. Well, that didn't look right. It was going to look silly for those cedar beams to run into the, so it's like, which do you want the most? So I chose the cabinets to the ceiling. Anyway, I digress. More on that later. What I really, really, really want to share with you is the heart behind home base and even why I'm calling it home base. Um, and yes, it's because our homes are where we live every day and particularly now since COVID-19 and shelter in place orders in various states or those of us who have just chosen to isolate at home. Um, certainly there's a heightened awareness about our homes and lots of people are, are reorganizing and, and cleaning out and redoing and painting and I've, I've seen all this. And that's certainly a big part of it and the timing for it. But y'all, for me, just the name home base holds a very special and dear place for me. And I knew that it had to be called that because as I sit here on this leaning porch, I can look to my left and our pool is out there. Um, we'd always wanted a pool. So we built that for our house. And, um, there are joyous, happy reminders of being out there last year, but there's also um, a grief that, that hangs over our family 
because that pool is the place where my seven-year-old niece um, spent her last fabulous, fun-filled day with us as a family before she went to bed that night and did not wake up the next morning. Um, and so it's, it's as, as a happy place as this is, there's also lots of reminders every day as a family that we no longer have our sweet Ava. Um, she was a fantastic athlete. She could swim in that pool like nobody's business. And she also played softball and was on a very special team, an elite team, and she kicked tail, I'm just telling you. And um, it was a Sunday when her and my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law and, and father-in-law were here at the pool and she had played in a softball tournament all day on that Saturday and played her a little heart out, of course. And then they came over here um, the next day to swim. And that was the last time that we saw her. And um, it's, it's just when I got to thinking about what am I going to call this new group? What am I going to call this new segment, if you will? Um, because this is becoming more and more episodes, um, series. So we'll have a good eating um, segment that will continue to have episodes. We will have the making a different segment that will have its episodes. And then we'll have this home base that will have its episodes. And so as I was thinking about what will I even call this, y'all, it just came to me really just simultaneously Ava's sweet little face and the name home base just came. Now, I, I realized that home base on a softball field may have nothing to do with this, generally speaking, a home. I, I know that's, you know, it's a sport versus a home. But for me, um, that's what it is. Th this is home base. And, um, and, and it's dedicated to sweet Ava. And it always will be. Um, you can't see it. Hopefully I'll show you in a second. But um, right in front of me is a sign that says home at last. It's just part of my decor out here. I've got it a little more eclectic out here than I do inside. Inside, my style is um, modern farmhouse with a little bit of shabby sheet, depending on what you like to call it. But out here, I made it a little more funky. It still has the rustic farmhouse appeal, but I pulled in all the different colors and designs and, you know, kind of mixed it up. But this home at last sign, um, I didn't even know, y'all, when I bought it, that it was going to have the meaning that it, that it has now. And, you know, part of the other thing that y'all don't know that I will begin to... Um, share with you as time goes on is my story of even getting to this place back in Arkansas to be with my husband um, on a full-time basis. And I bought that sign when we were in the building process because I just envisioned, wow, home at last. And so it sits out here and it's a great reminder of um, what all God saw me through to get me to this place that I can look at that sign every day. But now in light of what I shared with you about my niece, Ava, it brings peace and comfort and joy because I know that she is home at last. So y'all, that's the heart and the passion behind the name um, and a little bit about why I'm even doing this. Um, as far as content, yes, you'll see um, home decor. I, I mentioned all that home design. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to kind of let it take its course and, and see where this lands and see um, what you as the members um, want to see, the kind of content that, that you desire. And we'll go from there. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so looking forward to it. All right, y'all, hang with me. You're going to see me up close for just a second. I um, actually put on a dress today. I, you know, at, at home every day, I, don't, I haven't put on a dress in a long time. So um, put that little flowy dress on for y'all. I am going to rearrange the laptop just a little bit and show you a little bit more of the porch. And if y'all um, 
Let me see if there's another comment. Yeah, I don't see um, I don't see anything else, but I'm gonna move this around just a little bit, show y'all some more. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this back just to give you like a broader view, but there's um, the bed. And when I said I got funky, um, I brought in some extra, uh -oh, I ran into my little table, brought in some extra color there. See all the different throw pillows. Um, that's my little tables. Let me go over this and let's go this direction. I hope y'all can see. Um, yeah, that gives you another angle with my little poofs. And then I've got an end table <coughs> on both ends of the bed. <laughs> y'all, I'm trying to get it just right. Oh, there we go. I've got little end tables on both ends with the little poofs. And y'all, I change out um, those pillows. I have got a ton of um, pillow covers for all the different seasons. Maybe the lighting is a little bit better. Oh yeah, I think that's better. Um, see, I've got the home sweet home, our nest, but I've got some for spring, some for summer, some for fall. So um, I keep the insides and just change out the pillow covers. Let me get rid of, um, I don't wanna get rid of this logo now. Y'all know who I am by now, right? Let me take all that off. How about that? So we have full screen. Um, and then, y'all hold on, I knocked over something on this little table. Okay, my nose is running. I started to get a little teary eyed. All right, over here, which is just kind of close to, this, to the door, I've got my little bistro set. Um, a lot of times Brad and I will come out here and do breakfast on the patio or dinner or whatever behind there y'all is a screen door that has nothing on it um, except some twine and that's because i haven't decided yet what i'm going to hang there when i bought that years ago i was living in oxford mississippi and i had a really shabby chic um, guest bedroom and i had that propped up in the corner in the guest bedroom with pictures of my kids and my picture, family pictures hanging on it um I moved it. It was in storage for a long time, back to that transition from Mississippi to Arkansas that I'll tell you all about sometime. Um, but I, I put it out here because I wanted something behind that table. But I just haven't decided yet. I love screen doors, but I haven't decided yet um, what to hang on it. So it's kind of empty. And then over in the corner, um, we've got just a little extra little refrigerator out here that I've got water in. And it's kind of a mess out there. I'll see if you can yeah that's the pool is still covered so it's you know it's not all pretty yet we'll get that we're waiting to we're not ready, quite ready to open the pool all right let me go back this direction i need to flip around let me move the stool so see that. okay this is that table where i was talking about that i was staring at there's my home at last let me see if i can yeah so this, the table sits directly uh, straight across from the swinging bed. And that table, um, I love, love, love. It's, I guess it would be considered a sofa table, except that um, it is wider. And I don't know that it would, you'd have to have a pretty rustic house, I think, for it to go inside. But it was made out of barn wood from a barn in Arkansas. I can't remember where in Arkansas, but we bought it at one of the vintage shows. A few a few years ago, and um, that's an old window that I've got propped up there. I I love um, lamps, and so at night when we come out here, especially, and you'll see the fireplace behind me. If it's cool enough where we turn the fireplace on, I turn this little lamp on, um, and then my little sitting area right there. I turn that little lamp on and then we have the fire going and it's just, oh, it's so nice. It's just romantic and relaxing. So anyway, I um, love this little table and then I'll show you this, my little sitting area. Hello. I need to get out of the way. Let me get to this side. Um, One more time. That's just kind of my little area in the corner. And in the mornings, I like to come out here. There we go. <laughs> Y'all, for StreamYard, I have to use my laptop. I can't use my cell phone. 
Um, so it's a little creative trying to carry this laptop around. But that's my little city area where I'll come out here and have my coffee and do my devotion sometimes in the mornings. Um, and that barn door behind there, um, I bought it sometime or another, but I painted that flower on there. That was a lot of fun to do that. And then I'll show you the fireplace one more time. It's in the corner and we've got our TV up there and then just a few little decorative things. So that is my screened in porch. Yay. Um, love it, love it, love it. Spend a lot of time out of here, out here. And as I mentioned, um, I'm at some days I feel like I need to have a sign up sheet for who, who gets to come on the, and it feels so nice out here today. I will probably stay out here and, and work a little while. So y'all, thank you, um, for watching. Thank you for supporting Southern Inspirations and the stories that I'm sharing and my heart behind it. Please share this page uh, or this group and invite others. Um, I've got much more to come. We will have some guests um, for organizing. I'll have some interior design guests, um, just anything. I love the engagement and interaction that you are already giving. So keep it coming. <clears throat> Um, that's it, y'all. That's, uh, that's my heart and passion for home base. I'm excited and thank you again for watching and I will see you, um, tomorrow afternoon for Fruitful Friday at one o'clock and I will be broadcasting from Mississippi as speaking of home base, um, we sold our second home in Oxford and so that's really, really bittersweet. It's a blessing that we sold it so quickly, but now we've got to move quickly to get things sold and moved and all of that. So I will be broadcasting Fruitful Friday from there. So I'll see you then. Thank y'all. Have a great afternoon. Bye.